I'm pretty sure TikTok thinks that I believe everyone's a narcissist and that's not true. So I'm going to display the difference using none better than my own family as the example. So you guys know that my mother was a narcissist. I talk about it all the time and the conscious decisions that she made to hurt and manipulate the people around her. But you guys don't really hear me talking about my dad, even though I'm talking about all these toxic family dynamics and the fact that my dad wasn't around. So why am I not throwing him under the bus as being a narcissist? Because I don't think so. And here's the difference. My mother made conscious choices to hurt me and to hurt other people. She knew she was severely mentally ill down to bipolar one and a whole bunch of other things. And she consciously chose not to treat her mental illnesses, um, which made her emotionally and mentally unstable, which she was aware of because she had been diagnosed and told about these things. And she refused to treat it because treating her mental illness, becoming a more stable person and a more emotionally healthy person required taking accountability, admitting that she was the problem. She wasn't gonna do that. Now my dad, different story. Yes, there was screaming and yelling in the house and things like that. How are you not going to scream and yell when you have a narcissist creating so much conflict? But he left when I was like eight to 10 years old and he left me with my mother and with the rest of the family who were considerably abusive. Now, why don't I blame him for narcissism? Why don't I point the narcissism finger at him, especially on this platform when I could? I don't think it was narcissism. It's a big difference, right? The difference is intention. My mother's intentions, whether she was hoarding or she was screaming and yelling at me or calling me names or, you know, any of the other manipulative things that she used to do. Her intention was to get what she wanted, was to control other people and was to hurt them if she felt they had hurt her. My dad doesn't have those same intentions. Yes, my dad left, but my dad had been with a narcissist for 36, 38 years or something like that. When he left, his intention was not to punish me. It was not like, you've made this a miserable family, so suffer here with your mother. That was never his intention. His intention was to escape. I happened to be a casualty of that, that he didn't really fully comprehend. My mother fully comprehended what she was doing when she was calling me a whore at 12 years old for wanting to go to Red Lobster on my birthday. And here's the single biggest difference that helps me to know my mother was a narcissist, but my father isn't. To this day, my father is the only person in my family who has apologized to me for my childhood. He apologized to me throughout my childhood for leaving my mother, for leaving me in those situations. And as an adult, now that he fully realizes the extent of the abuse that I was experiencing at the hands of that woman, he has apologized more than once for me being stuck there in that position in that house. That is what happens when someone who may have made selfish or emotionally immature decisions wakes up, grows up, mature. Narcissists don't do that. The only apology I ever got from my mother was a deathbed. I'm sorry, will you please forgive me? That's it. And she wanted that for forgiveness for her, not for me. Narcissistic parents.